Hello, Stephen Wick here from Dennis Wick Products. I'm here today to talk a little bit about keeping your mouthpieces and instruments clean during the COVID-19 crisis. First of all, you're going to need some hot soapy water, any kind of detergent is fine, washing up liquid, whatever. And you're going to need one of these. Now, this is a, a mouthpiece brush for cleaning uh, the smaller mouthpieces, such as cornet, French horn, trumpet. And uh, I have a trumpet mouthpiece here, a Dennis Wick uh, Morris Murphy 3C, one of our popular models. Uh, put the mouthpiece in the hot soapy water, give it a good soaking, and you need to brush for a minimum of 30 seconds. So that's the um, two verses of happy birthday for you, if you want to think of it like that. And you need to brush at least 15 times. So the brush goes into the bore, so get it right in there so you can get all the dirt and debris out and go in this end as well to get the dirt out of the bottom of the cup. The dirt tends to accumulate inside there, so that's where you need to remove it from. So give it a thorough brushing for 30 seconds in the hot soapy water. Um, my recommendation would be to let it air dry. The reason for that is if you use a cloth and you pick up a little bit of dirt, you can be picking up germs and then the cloth will transfer it to the next thing that it touches. So better to let the mouthpiece air dry or to use a disposable paper towel. Now for bigger mouthpieces, such as uh, the Chiba mouthpiece, you can see it's a much bigger hole there than uh, on the trumpet. That's the trumpet one, you can see it's actually quite a small hole. So for the bigger mouthpiece, you're going to need a bigger brush. So this is a large mouthpiece brush. Same thing, you need to uh, clean it for 30 seconds, go in both ends so you can get into the bottom of the cup, and a good 15 brushes. You can see this wider brush is designed to get right in there and remove all that, uh, that dirt which accumulates there. It's very important to do that because when you're breathing this hot, moist air through the mouthpiece, it becomes the perfect breeding ground for microbes. So I can, uh, sometimes you see in schools that mouthpieces are in a terrible condition. As we used to say, you could grow vegetables in that. So it's very important that you do this, I would say, uh, every week. I mean, the scientific advice uh, I saw said every four weeks, but uh, I would say definitely every week because that dirt accumulates very quickly and it needs to be removed to keep it clean. Now, in the instrument, you'll find that the dirt tends to accumulate at the end you blow down the lead pipe. So you'll need a special snake brush and hot soapy water again, so give that a good cleaning. That'll remove uh, the bulk of the accumulated uh, dirt and debris. You will also need uh, one of these. Now this is a, a valve brush. That's a small valve brush suitable for instruments such as the trumpet and the cornet. For the larger instruments, you need uh, one of these. So this is a large valve brush. That, that's suitable to get into the big compensating valves of euphoniums and tubers. So that'll get rid of that dirt. Um, yeah, so give the instruments a good bath in hot soapy water every six months or so. There is another process that you can use, which I would recommend uh, every few years, and that's to take it to your repair person and get them to put it in the ultrasonic tank. That has a, a special cleaning liquid and the ultrasonic vibrations shake loose any lime scale and the trickier bits of dirt which get caught up in all the little bends. Um, the great thing is that it makes the instrument play much better as well so I'd recommend that and it keeps it really nice uh, and clean and fresh. Uh, one word of warning, I've heard of people using sterilizing solutions as you would use for a baby's bottle or something like that uh, for brass mouthpieces 
this is not a good idea. It's okay for clarinet mouthpieces which are made out of plastic, which is maybe where people got their idea from. But um, for uh, mouthpieces which are plated in silver and gold, uh, these products are bleach based and the bleach etches into the, the metal and it'll ruin your mouthpiece, so please don't do that. You can also, uh, for when you're out and about, I would uh, recommend using a sanitizing spray as well. There are various kinds of sanitizing spray. Many are alcohol based uh, and there are commercially available sprays such as Sterisol. Um, in the same way that you might wash your hands before you go out and use some alcohol gel when you're out and about somewhere, uh, on your hands, you know, you can use soap and uh, hot water on your mouthpiece, but take the sanitizing spray. So if you're in a rehearsal room or a band room where it's possible to pick up germs, give it a quick spray. It'll just keep it nice and uh, clean and fresh. Okay, so I hope that's uh, useful information for you. Uh, have fun cleaning your mouthpieces and stay safe.